Today, we're leaving New York for Mexico City on a mouth-watering street food tour with a local. I'm talking quesadillas, tortas, tacos, and more. Don't watch this video on an empty stomach. You've been warned. All right, Valeria, what do we have in store today? Today, we're gonna show you some Mexico City street food hidden gems that tourists don't even know about. I'm excited just smelling and looking at these tortas. You said this is a can't miss, right? Yes, you can't miss this spot. It's Tortas Cataquil. If you live in Mexico City, you need a heavy breakfast. And she told me that the line could sometimes stretch up to an hour, yes. so come early. Yeah, you need to come early, 7 a.m., 8 a.m. So we are having the bomba. It has cochinita pibil, chilaquiles, and the chicken schnitzel. So I'm gonna ask for it like super spicy for you. Oh no. Yes. Medio picante, to. medio picante. No. Te podría dar dos bombas, por favor. Tiene chilaquiles rojos y verdes. De los dos, perfecto. They call this the bomb because we got a mix of different meats. Break yes. this down for me. So you got the chicken milanesa, and then you got the pork pibil, and you have a lot of mushy chilaquiles, you know, some uh, beans, and this one's the spiciest because I asked for a lot of habanero inside my torta. This one's it's is softer, like you don't get any spice. She in said it. it was, she said it was the tourist yeah, it's version. Yeah, the tourist okay. version. It's the tourist version, right? One, two, two three. three. Oh my god. Mmm. It's so good. It is a bomb. Of flavor. You know what actually impressed me the most that first bite? The bread, how soft it is. Mm -hmm. And then chewing through it, getting the chilaquile, some of the meat, some of the spices. Now, even though there's no habanero in this, it still does pack a little bit of a kick. Chilaquile is normally served on a plate for breakfast yes, with meat perfect. or with eggs, but to put it in a sandwich, how common is that? Here in Mexico, we always put everything inside a torta bread. It's like our thing, you know? Like, it's something that we love to have for breakfast, even tamales, tacos even. You put tacos inside yes. of a bread? So it's, what do you call a torta taco? Yeah, tortaco. Tortaco, really? Or taco torta, I don't know. Okay. Mm. The chilaquile is what makes this work for me. It's just like the perfect soft, mushy bite surrounded by the spicy meat. Oh. This is one of the best tortas that I have ever had. Well, in your life. Torta, yeah. So you're willing to say this is one of the best tortas in all of Mexico yes. City? Yes, yes. I will put my hands on fire. <laughs> How big would you say the street food culture is in Mexico? Little spots like that. Everyone wakes up so early and you oh. need like a huge breakfast for your day because you, you don't even know when you're gonna have time to eat lunch. <laughs> you know, coming from the US, even even thinking about New York, breakfast, food trucks, very uncommon. Maybe you'll find like a bagel in a coffee spot, but something like this in New York in the morning, absolutely unheard of. I think this is such a cool Mexican thing to do. You know, don't eat breakfast at your hotel. Don't go to some hipster cafe, go here instead. Oh, yeah. It works as an easy share too. If you don't wanna be too weighed down, you could split one as a couple. So just say you can tell I've had a good breakfast. <laughs> Proofs in the hands. All right, so I'm gonna try the spicy one first. Mm, oh, good. And then here's the tourist one. Mm, they're both very good. I like it, he's double fisting. If you're not sure what you want, get the red and the green. That may have been the best torta I've had in my entire life. Yeah, me too, and I'm a local. I'd like to thank a sponsor of today's video, italki, for giving me so much confidence to speak Spanish on this Mexico City trip. A mí me encanta. Yo no. <laughs> no mucho. If you're like me and want to eat where tourists don't normally go, speaking some of the local language is a big deal. At italki, you can have one-on-one -on -one customized language lessons with high-quality native-speaking teachers. I took a lesson with Sigrid and I told her the main goal of this trip was to eat the best street food in Mexico City. Not a problem. Uh, estoy listo. Um, me da, por favor, uh, un Coke Zero y... Dos quesadillas de carne. Perfecto. El término de su carne en las quesadillas lo prefiere de alguno de los cuatro diferentes. ¿Qué tipo? Oh, uh, it's like uh, como co cocinado. Exactamente. ¿Qué tan cocinada quiere su carne? Hola. Uh, me da por favor un cubano y un sazón de mi tierra. You can learn more than 150 languages at Italki. You will pay per lesson. No subscription, no commitment, we're all busy. I get it and sometimes you only need a few basic classes to get you going. Your lessons are only priced from $5, language learning, 
doesn't have to be expensive. Click through the link below in the description to start your language learning journey. Buy $10, get $5 off for your first lesson using my exclusive promo code HBB5. The discounts are only available for the first 50 users. A, B, the biggest quesadilla is that you guys have ever seen. Yes, they are. And all the locals love these big quesadillas. Look at them. I'm looking and I'm wondering how many people it takes to finish one. Gracias. They need two plates for this. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, here is the chicharron, the beef stomach, the pork brains, picadillo, which is minced beef, chicken with chipotle. Oh. We, bro we broke the machete. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So guys, you don't think like a Friday the 13th type machete? Same deal here. I want the scariest thing for me. I want the pork okay. brain. Okay, you're gonna like it. You're gonna try something that scares you every single day of your life. I'm doing that right here. Pork brain confirmed. Yes. Pork brain confirmed. Let's see how this tastes. Let's see. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. Not for me. <laughs> no. I think she shouldn't have told me what it was. I think I got spooked when I had it. I'm gonna have it. Go ahead. Mm. I really like it. It's an acquired taste, okay? This is chicharron, Oaxaca queso, which is quesillo also, yeah. and plantain. We call it platano macho. It's sweeter and tangy. Mm. Mm, so much better. I love the crispy exterior, two of the machete. Everything works here. What do you think? I don't know, you can't go wrong with this combination, right? It's sweet from the plantain, the cheese, the chicharron, it yeah. gives like, it's a perfect combination, I love it. You know what's been my favorite part about today's video? We have not seen a single non-Mexican person outside of myself and Todd here. Yeah. They're all locals. Yeah, this is a, an area that is not near from the tourist places. So it's in the downtown of Mexico City, but just a bit more hidden. This is extremely heavy. So maybe we ordered a little too much. Don't make our mistake. Yeah, or than just one. One for even three people. One enough. for even four people uh, or five, it's good. From one spot that has a ton of meat and a ton of ingredients to another spot like that. Yeah, and we're getting more meat and a lot of toppings. It's like a beef schnitzel. This is my type of place already. She's the founder, she's gonna watch over us. If you put this place in Condesa or Roma Norte, it'd be full of hipsters and foreigners. Una super Teresita con todo lo que lleve. De res. De res. The schnitzel that it's as big as an elephant ear it has potatoes, beans, chilaquiles, plantains, ham, and grated cheese. Oh. All right, how, how many stomachs did you bring today? Tell oh me. My God, how many stomachs is, did you bring for today's video? This is huge. So I'm gonna try to name everything without knowing. It's beef schnitzel, chilaquile, ham, cheese, french fry, plantain. And beans. And beans, although it's buried under here, yeah. I think we could call today's video the, the, the hangover cure. Yeah. Ready? Let's try this. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Every flavor known to man just hit me in the face. That was too much for me. All Mexican comfort foods combined in one dish. Like I told you, we put everything in a torta. Bar. Anything could work in a torta. I've just been proven wrong. Big bite coming. Mm. It works. I don't know why, but it enhances the flavor. I think you get the juices running through the bread. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. And the plantain there, oh, just like the cherry on top. <laughs> well, apparently Valeria is very famous here because we're about to take a photo with some people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do you think? We got we got room for one more? Just one more, yes. Well, this is definitely a very unassuming spot. Yes, these are my favorite tacos in Mexico City, for sure. They're so good, you're about to try them. You're gonna like them, I swear. What's, what's the best, you think? I think Onera is the best one. It's like a big meat. Which one's your favorite? For me? Yeah. Costilla and Una costilla y dos de 
normally in Mexico, pieces of meat are not like this. This is like getting a little steak on a taco. Yeah, for sure. And it's so simple, like just a handmade tortilla and the beef. This is, this is bulky. Look at this, oh my God. Let's try it. Oh. Mm. It's so juicy. It's like somebody prepared a gourmet steak in seconds for you and put it inside of a taco. That's the best way to describe it, those flavors. It's so soft, also like, it melts in your mouth. Oh. I love it. I don't even need this in a tortilla. I think this is almost like bragging, putting this inside of a tortilla. This meat stands by itself. Then we get the hand-pressed tortillas on top of it. This is a winner. I could easily eat like three of this. You know, every time Valeria and I say we're full, we find a new spot and suddenly we have an appetite again. Yes. This spot just brought back my appetite. Mm. This is the only place that I go when I want some steak tacos. I feel a little bit bad making this video and give, giving this away to the, the viewers. Can't gatekeep it though too long. It's too good. We're not gatekeeping it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Everything was just so good. But this was the most unique, I have to say, of all the spots because they're growing it right in front of you like this. Go. You're eating inches from the flames. If people want to go on this tour, a tour like this, can you show them around? Yes, hit me up if you want to go to some random places, hidden gems here in Mexico City. Link in the description. Now that you know where to get the best street food in Mexico City, watch my New York version of this video for some amazing Mexican late night bites. Head here next.